got ready. As you can see, I look a little more presentable. I don't look like I just roll out of bed. Hello, my name is Bethany. Welcome to my channel. Honestly, these past few days, I've been getting up really, really late. I started on Wednesday because Wednesday is when I officially end classes just like for the week. And I usually just sleep in for the rest of the days, which is a habit that I really don't want to continue. I've been feeling really lazy and kind of just just not feeling it. I don't know how to describe that feeling but I don't know how to feel. I just don't feel like I'm in the right headspace to do anything. I think a good way to get back into kind of a normal routine is making sure that you start the day with feeling refreshed and for me that means taking a good ass shower and like getting ready because if I look ready, then I feel ready. It is currently 1.40 p.m. I'm really hungry. Lunch time, about to make some lunch. So let's go do that. I found out that I actually have leftover pasta from yesterday. So I'm gonna heat it up. And then I also have some arugula that I'm just gonna toss with some olive oil and also some salt. bland but there's just some garlic and cheddar cheese and mozzarella cheese as well on top of this. I made this yesterday and I had a bunch of leftovers so might as well clean out the fridge before making any new food, you know? Ugh. Please drink water. Water's great. Water's very good for you. We needed to survive. But yes, I was talking about the whole feeling lazy and unproductive. It's okay to feel like that. I completely understand and know that I'll go through stuff like this throughout my whole life. Not something that I can really avoid. Everyone's lazy. And I genuinely would like to preface that being lazy is not a bad thing. In my head, whenever I get lazy, it's kind of like my body telling me to stop doing work. I think back in school, back in high school when I did the IB, I get kind of frustrated whenever I'd feel lazy because I felt like I couldn't take breaks. I was solely focused on my assignments and getting things done. Slowly, as the work started to build up, it kind of clicked in my head that, of course, it's okay to take breaks and of course it's okay to not feel the most productive. My brain can only retain so much information to the point where I kind of have to tell myself to stop doing work. At that point, it just becomes unhealthy. Overworking yourself is a very big thing. I don't know what's going on in your life, but in my opinion, I think it's good to let your body and your brain not stress. I genuinely hope that you can just take a step back at whatever you're doing, whatever work you might be focusing on or studying to just take a break for yourself and for the sake of your mental and physical well-being. I started developing a routine back in my senior year. I don't like the idea of being tired while studying. I like to be awake and alert while I'm doing my work. That way I get the most work done and that way the quality of my work is also good. However, I will say there is a point where taking too many breaks will be a bad thing for you. And that's exactly what happened to me this week. I have been doing work since Monday. So Monday to Wednesday, I was doing work. I have my studio days from Monday to Tuesday. So those are my in-person stuff. And then on Wednesday are my online lectures. So in those three days, I am genuinely doing work, trying to finish as much as I can. But as soon as my online lecture stops, or at least it's, it happened this week, I kind of just took a step back away from my desk and kind of just slumped onto my bed. And it was okay to do that in my head because in those hours I was doing work and I felt like I should take a break from doing work. So again, taking breaks, great thing, but that kind of continued the next couple of days. And yesterday when I woke up, I was feeling so drained and lazy. I did do the work that I wanted to do, but at the end of it, I still felt so unproductive. And I guess it's a mindset thing, but I just, I felt so 
upset at myself for being lazy or getting to that point of not doing the work that I'm supposed to do. That's kind of just an example of what I mean by it's not always the best thing to take too many breaks. Of course, yes, take your breaks. Take time away from whatever work that you have to do to focus on yourself, focus on getting better. But I don't think that you should prolong your breaks. I feel like it might help to have like, okay, I'm gonna work for 30 minutes and then I'm gonna take like a five minute break and then I'm gonna get back into it. Because I feel like if you have kind of a time limit for yourself, it encourages you to work faster. Or not work faster, but in your head, you wanna be able to get as much work done as you can within that given time frame. But try not to spiral into taking multiple breaks and only doing a minimal amount of work. Just find that balance. Find that balance between your work life and your break life. I also try not to dwell too much on things that I can't control. At least the things that I can't control now. That goes for future plans or even like near future plans. I'm very much a live in the moment kind of person. Not that I don't have future goals or plans for myself in the future. Of course I have those. If it's something that I can't personally control at the moment or something that I know is more of a long-term thing, I tend to not dwell too much on that aspect of my life just because if I can't actually do something about it in the present and I know that it'll be something better saved for the future, then I won't worry about it. I worry on the things that I can do now and that's been my mindset for a while and that's kind of how I get through life. I think overall that's how I've coped with being lazy or those days where I'm unproductive and not doing work. I kind of just put down whatever I'm doing if I'm just being lazy. I put down whatever I'm doing and like focus on one thing at a time and if I can get through just one thing that kind of puts me into that working mindset again and it allows me to be immersed into my work even more. I'll just say take one thing at a time, do one thing at a time, accomplish one thing that you know you can for sure do and hopefully that will be enough to kind of help you progress further into your work. So I finished eating lunch and I have two things that I need to work on. Oh, oh, that's a lot. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> quick, what am I saying quick to? Bethany, hurry up. Thank God this is just a concept model. Hiya. My tiny concept models. And then the actual site. I made this yesterday and it was kind of like a work in progress thing. This is a 1 to 50 scale model of our East Gallery. That's essentially our project is going to be based off of that space itself. And right now I'm working on some plans for the actual space. So that's the facade with all its dimensions and I'm just trying to translate that into- Whoa, I'm so zoomed in. I'm trying to translate that over here. Well, this part is like the front entrance, so this section is technically on this side going that way. So I finished just the section drawing. It's very rough. I don't know how much you can really see, but I kind of just labeled it. I have two more readings that I need to do and get through just to get a general idea of what it's about.
food. It's just kind of like noodle stir fry with some pork strips, some carrots, and lettuce and also i just fried an egg because i wanted to eat an egg i also got some green tea but yeah the whole point of this video or the reason why i just wanted to say this out loud was particularly because i have been feeling this way and i wanted to kind of reset both my mind and just everything feeling lazy and unproductive is something that i kind of go through a lot i just want to start to make a conscious effort to get back into a routine and get back into a normal school routine with my work and my social life and everything else but overall i think it's okay to feel this way i think it's normal and i think that everyone goes through this i just want to put that out there that it's okay to not have productive days it's okay to take breaks and it's okay to take time for yourself because at the end of the day that's what you should be putting first anyway that's all i kind of wanted to say for this i just wanted to voice out how i was feeling i think it's good to let out your feelings let out whatever you wanted to say or whatever you're thinking just know that you'll get through it you'll get through this lazy bump in your life it's very temporary and sooner or later you're gonna get back into your routine anyway so i hope you took something away from this video if you've been feeling particularly lazy or just not really motivated to do any work it's okay, I've been there, we've all been there, and no matter how many lazy bumps you go through in your life, you're always going to get through it and you're always going to find yourself back into normal routine. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you again for a new one. Bye!